How's it going everybody? My name is Sniperman1109 and today I'm here with a brand new video for Survivalist Invisible Strain. And I'm going to be showing you guys what I have done throughout my time playing in the beta that I use to survive in this world. You know, a few combat tips that I've learned on my own. And who are you people? Okay, well anyway, we're just going to ignore them. This would be a really good thing if uh, these are these are refugees. And these people are the ones you would want to recruit. But anyway, enough of them. Leave me alone. I'm trying to do a, I'm trying to do a video here. Anyway, I'm going to be showing you a few of my tips and tricks that I have used to survive and show you a couple of combats things you can do to actually survive and kill zombies because some of you might actually get frustrated because I know when I first started, I got frustrated. It was very hard. But anyway, let's jump right into it. All right. We have our first green strain infected. Now, some of you guys might be like, Sniper, these zombies are really hard and I can't survive. What should I do? Well, here's what you should do. First of all, green strain. Green strain and blue strain, you can take on in multiple ways. You can either do them separately, which I recommend, but sometimes you cannot do them separately. You can't fight them one-on-one. -on -one. Sometimes more may come to the sound of combat which is probably what's going to happen here. But if that does happen, this is what you do. You go for the legs. How, you do, how I'm doing this is I'm using right click. I'm right clicking on the enemy and I'm moving the mouse forward and backward and that is how I'm going. I can choose where I want to hit. Now, for some of you guys with the low uh, melee or hand-to-hand -hand combat, you won't, the head won't be available until you become a certain level. But the, but the torso and the legs will be. And my advice to you is aim for the legs because as you can see, she's stumbling, she's slow, she's not, she can't run and pounce on you. And if you can hit for the head, go for it. One, two, done. And the only reason she's that easy to kill is because she's green strain and that's one of the weakest zombies in the game. And we have another one over here. He's wandering around. He heard the sound. He's coming. And there's another one. Now we're going to... I'm going to show you an example of taking on two of them. And this is the good part about taking out their legs. Cripple one, he's crippled. You can tell this because you'll see, you can see above their head, their leg is dotted. When their legs are dotted, that means they are crippled. And you can also tell because they're shambling around and they can't run. So, we're going to take them out. One hit, that was actually pretty good and dead. Now, like I said, I would only do this on green strain and blue strain at the max, because red strain is very hard, and white strain, just, just forget about white strain. You are going to die if you fight white strain. But, yes, so, I mean, like I said, really easy, really good tip that I, I use personally in my games, because um, you can literally full-on take on a full-on horde if you do that. You can slow them all down, and take them out. So actually, you know what? I'm going to find a bunch of zombies and hopefully I can show you show you uh, what I mean by horde control. So I'm going to try to find some more zombies, test this out and show you what I mean. All right, we got three zombies here. This is actually a pretty good amount of zombies and I'm going to get them all on me. And hopefully this goes well and I don't look like a poop being like, oh, all right, here they come. All right. Aim for the legs, aim for the legs, aim for the legs. Now they're all slow. And then you just take them out one by one. Here comes another one. Another one joining the fray. And another one over there. As I said, take out their legs. By the way, you press space to dodge. Another one. This is what I mean by horde control. Alright. You can either take out keep taking out their legs or if the rest are crippled, I mean take out one if it jumps like that and pounces at you. Now we're just gonna go through. Try not to get too far in like I did. And as you see, here they are, all dead, lying on the ground, and Brody Cameron emerges a victorious. So, like I said, again, I would not recommend doing this any higher than blue strain. 
Blue Strain is the max, and that's even pushing it because they're pretty tough. They're the they're a little tougher than these guys. But anyway, guys, I hope this uh, this little tutorial helps you out. If you enjoyed, please snipe that like button and subscribe. And I will be making more content. Uh, my IRL career has kind of gotten in the way of my content, but I'm going to try to work around it. So if you enjoyed, snipe that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. Thank you.